Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman and the DCU. We've got some new news that we need to break down that has been released over the last couple of days. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV or DCU videos later this year. So as I said, this video is all Superman centric, it's all to do with the DCU because we got a bunch of different topics that James Gunn has commented upon. We got new photos, we got new looks into Superman. So as we all know, they are shooting Superman right now. They're at least about 20% into the film. I'll explain how I roughly know that later in the video because we're going to talk about that but yeah so they're a decent way into shooting Superman they are shooting in America now they were in Norway previously shooting for like maybe a week or so but yeah they're in the full swing of things and it seems like things are going well so far in terms of what we've been seeing behind the scenes what James Gunn has been posting and what some of the cast members have been posting. But in the midst of all of this, David Corrin Sweat has gone to a screening. Now, some of you guys might have seen this photo that's on the screen right here because it's been spreading and doing the rounds on Twitter, on social media. But he made a surprise appearance at a cinema. Don't know where it was, but it was somewhere in America and it was his new film that he is out promoting. And yes, even though he is not like fully promoting that film, he is making appearances here and there where he can. And that's because of his heavy schedule with Superman, obviously being the lead, he's gonna be shooting a lot of Superman. But he took time out of his schedule to actually go to the screening, address fans who are watching his new movie, obviously go support that film when it comes out. But these photos that have been released from the event, yes, it's just fans taking photos, so it's not like the greatest quality. It's got fans completely freaking out, and that's because of the way that he looks. Obviously, this is kind of like a different build that he worked on just for this film, just for Superman. And that is, you know, that typical kind of Superman, kind of bulky, all-American look, I guess. Obviously, he's not, like, in costume, he's just wearing casual wear, he's wearing a hat to cover his hair, presumably he's got the Superman haircut right now, don't even know, maybe he's even dyed his hair to be more like Superman's colour. People have suggested that his hair looks a little bit different, I really can't tell the difference if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, it's great to see him out and about, and we haven't had too many good looks at the full David Corrin sweat Superman yet like yeah we've seen the emblem and we've seen part of the suit but we haven't seen the whole thing and that's actually something we're going to be talking about but what he actually said at this event to a fan who was there that fan is named David Thompson and he said before this when he signed the shirt he mentioned how the vibes of the new movie that being Superman are based on for all seasons and all star Superman but the story is, quote, totally its own thing. Also, he's the nicest guy in the world. Absolutely huge, great handshake. Also, punch me in the chest. Laughing face emojis. So yeah, there you have it. That is David talking about Superman being decently open, which is nice to hear. You know, him acknowledging two specific storylines in the comics for all seasons and All-Star Superman. I mean, we had an idea that All-Star Superman was going to be you know, one of the main influences here. Obviously you got Kingdom Come with the Superman costume, the emblem that we've seen, but apparently the story is totally its own thing, so it's like an amalgamation of what James Gunn has been inspired by when he was writing the film, but I guess at the end of the day it just turned out to be like its own thing by the end of his writing, and yeah, so that's kind of it in regards to what was happening at that event, but let's talk about a couple of other topics because we got this comment and it says, good to know, honestly, I'm just ready to see Superman. And that was in regards to a comment that James Gunn said earlier. This was on a previous day. And basically he was addressing rumors that Ultraman would be the villain in the Superman film. That's obviously kicking off the DCU. James Gunn debunked that. He said, Lex Luthor is surprisingly the villain, the main villain of Superman and it's no one else, and yeah, you could maybe say, okay, maybe James is hiding it because he doesn't want to spoil the entire film, but I do believe that Lex is going to be the main villain. Now, that's not to say you're not going to see other villains. Like, I'm pretty damn sure you're going to see quite a few other villains. There's been so many heroes cast for this film, 
and I don't expect them to be in like much of the film but you know some of them are going to play a decent part like I think some of the authority like the engineer you're going to see a bit more obviously she's not necessarily a hero she's not necessarily a villain so you can't really class her as either of those but they're going to be there there's going to be other people so what's to say there can't be other you know villains out there like Ultraman but he has specifically debunked that rumor that Ultraman is not going to be in the film and he also confirms that of course Superman is the main character in the film and in response to the fan who just responded to that question he says and I'm almost ready to show it to you in regards to seeing the full look at Superman and he puts in brackets even though we're probably only 18% or so through it and that is roughly according to him and so that was roughly two days ago from when I'm recording this video like two or three days ago and so yeah you can presume in the last couple of days they've got you know a little bit done and potentially they're around the 19-20% mark in terms of what they've actually shot and so that's really good to hear so if we track back to when Superman was starting obviously they've been in pre-production for a very very long time but we got the announcement when they started actually shooting that it wasn't going to be Superman Legacy anymore it was going to be just Superman and then you heard about okay Nicholas Holt is Lex Luthor and around that time we got a good look at the Superman costume at the Superman emblem specifically but the start date was February 29th and now we're on the 8th of April and if they're already around the 20% mark I mean that's pretty good like you guys can work out when the end date is going to be based on you know that 29th of February start date so they're at least you know a good month or so into shooting. But let's quickly talk about what he's saying in terms of I'm almost ready to show it to you. Now this obviously sparks to mind you know okay right yeah you're at a good point in terms of shooting but like what are you going to show to us? Are you going to show us a teaser trailer? Like a little glimpse like the Batman did. Obviously that's infamous for being one of the best teasers ever I would say. Because it just did such a good job introducing the Batman. Introducing the suit. Introducing the tone. The mood of the film. And obviously Robert Pattinson as well. And that was just so great when they did that back at DC Fandom. During the pandemic. But now with him teasing this like what do we think do we think he's teasing a teaser trailer here or is he teasing you know just like a professional good look at superman so i think the main question remains okay so if he's almost ready to show it why is he not showing it now like is it that he just wants it to drag on longer and he wants to build the anticipation obviously everyone's itching to see the full superman costume to see David Corrins were actually in the suit because we only saw the emblem before and that's pretty much it and we can only imagine what David looks like as Superman and so seeing like a professional photograph from the behind the scenes is going to be insane when it happens it's going to blow up the internet and James Gunn knows that so if he is thinking ahead and if he really wants to build hype I think with them having shot about 20% or so as of today why not do a little teaser trailer just to really build up the hype for the summer after next despite it being still a long ways away it's obviously just something that everyone is so excited about like all DC fans are just ready for this Superman film ready to see what David Corrin Sweat looks like as Superman but let's move on to the final topic of today's video this is a photo from Rachel Brosnahan she is basically just joking in this photo that David's dog has taken over the role of Lois Lane. But what's most interesting is what is in the background. Now, someone on threads sent the photo to James Gunn specifically asking, by the way, is she using Superman's cape as her backdrop? And James Gunn put some like thinking emojis underneath that in the replies. So that makes you wonder, is that the actual Superman cape? If so, I mean, it's a good shade of red. It's a good kind of comic book accurate shade of red could it be with the superman and house of l emblem on the back that is a big question that i think a lot of you guys have i'm of the opinion i prefer like a just plain red cape let me know what do you guys think about this down in the comments below so for now thank you guys so much for watching that pretty much does it for today's video if you enjoyed it 
please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would really help this video get out there. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new around here. And for now, you can click on the top right corner to watch my latest video. And so for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.